Hi everyone, uh, so today I'll be talking about the racial disparities in the U.S. criminal justice system and my name is Natalie Douglas Archer. As you could see, uh, the racial disparities in the U.S. criminal justice system refer to the unequal treatment of individuals from different racial and ethnic backgrounds where minorities group often face harsher treatment than their white counterparts. This includes higher arrest rates, longer sentence, and a greater likelihood of incarceration. The history of systemic, systemic discrimination and bias has contributed to the perpetration of these disparities impacting trust in law enforcement and the overall legitimacy of the justice system. Addressing racial inequality is crucial for achieving a more and equitable society where everyone receives fair treatment under the law. So that's the introduction of my presentation and background information I have come from racial disparities persist within the U U.S. criminal justice system affecting minority communities disproportionately. Disparities can be observed in arrests, sentencing, and incarceration rates, raising concerns about equity and fairness. My, se my second part of the executive, the summary of it, it presents a vital finding emphasizing the root causes of racial disparities in the criminal justice system. Uh, also, the research highlights how African Americans and Hispanics face higher rates of arrests, convictions, and more severe sentence compared to white individuals. Racial profiling, discriminatory, discretionary practices, and implicit bias further ex exacerbate disparities in the justice system, leading to uneven outcomes in arrests, charging decisions, bail, and penalties. And according to my research paper, the key findings were racial disparities in the U.S. criminal justice system stem from historical injustice, systemic prejudice, and socioeconomic factors. Also, minority individuals, particular African Americans and Hispanics experience higher arrest rates, convictions, and harsher sentencing than white individuals. These were some of my findings throughout my research um, paper, which was very interesting. And final was um, the racial profiling, discriminatory practices, and implicit bias significantly influence decision making processes leading to arrest charges and penalties disparities. The context and the importance of the problem, which I've mentioned previously in other presentation, um, I came to find out that the U.S. criminal justice system perpetrates racial disparities affecting minorities individuals significantly. Also, marginalized racial and ethnic groups such as African Americans and Hispanics experience treatment throughout the criminal justice process. Uh, Pre-existing pre policies, policy alternatives, and research. The overview of existing policies related to racial disparities, policies addressing racial disparities cover various stages of the criminal justice process. Mandatory minimum sentence and war and drugs policies have contributed to imbalanced incarceration rates for minority individuals. It's, it's a lot in this criminal justice system, what's going on. Examination of shortcomings and limitations of current policies. Implicit biases and discretionary practices within a criminal justice system contribute to unequal treatment. There are several I have, and um, one was important to me was lack of cultural competence leads to misunderstandings and communication gaps between law enforcement and minority communities. 
And also I have on the exploration of policies, alternatives to address racial disparities. Uh, we prioritize rehabilitation and restorative justice over punitive measures. It's to break the cycle. This is really good to have other measures of punishment. In conclusion, the research paper has examined the enduring racial disparities in the U.S. criminal justice system, emphasizing their significant consequences for their individuals and society. I also have in my conclusion, racial disparities manifest at various stages, including biases, policing, and sentencing disparities, disproportionately impacting minority individuals, specifically African Americans and Hispanics. I also could speak on comprehensive reforms are essential to restore public trust, ensure equitable treatment, and uphold the rights of all individuals within the criminal justice system. And um, all said and done throughout my, recommend, throughout my research, my policy recommendations I have to come up with the procedural justice training law enforcement implement comprehensive procedural justice training for all officers to mitigate implicit biases and improve communication skills justification law enforcement can establish trust between communities by promoting procedural justice leading to increased cooperation and better outcomes Expand divergent programs. Prioritize expanding divergent programs for minor offenses to target underlying causes of criminal behavior and reduce and reduce repeat offenses. And also under my implement sentences reform, we could also assess the impact of sentences sentencing laws and minority population to mitigate disparities and um, that's the end I hope you have enjoyed my presentation and I'm sorry for the inconvenience with the noise in my background thank you Mom.